Thank you. Thank you all for coming out tonight. You've been a splendid crowd. Be sure to check your tickets to see if you are the lucky winner for the one-on-one -on -one meet and greet with me, the great Vladonio. No one to stop gambling and be sure to tip your waitress. Thank you again and good night, Las Vegas. Come in. Ah, you must be the winner of the one I want meet and greet with me. Come on, sit, sit. So, may the great Vlad Olnio know the name of his very attractive guest that I am blessed to host in my hotel suite. Hmm, it's very fitting. Well now, you have a whole hour with me. Feel free to ask me anything you want. Anything except how I do my magic, of course. <laughs> how did I get my start and why the name? Well, this will probably come off as cliche, but I grew up rather poor in a very poor neighborhood. However, when my family did manage to scrounge up the money, we would always go to the local chose in the, in the, uh, the town, I guess. I guess that's what they're called. That's how my love of magic started. Ever since the first pulling a rabbit out of a hat or a dove out of a shirt sleeve, I have been hooked on magic ever since. I studied how to do the tricks and pretty much taught myself. I performed in the streets and people would give me their pocket change, I guess. But it wasn't until I met an older gentleman that helped me make it big in Vegas. And 200 years, uh, 20 years later, I became one of the most popular smaller magic shows on the strip you know the ones that you pay for when you can't afford chris angel or when they're all sold out <laughs> and as far as the name well would you or anyone else be interested in coming to see a magician named the terrible vlad O'Neill? <laughs> well I am skilled in other forms of magic, such as mind reading and hypnosis. I can get deep inside you and snatch any information I want or tell you things that you aren't even aware that you know. For example, I know that you're the type of person who, if we're listening to this event right now on Pandastic ASMR's channel, you would already be in the comments asking for a part two and we're barely in the beginning of this audio. When you aren't doing that, you're probably listening carefully to see if I mention... Damien, right? And how I am now part of the Pandaverse. <laughs> uh, great. Guess what I might say? What is your next question? Why the Vampire Act? Who said anything about it being an act? I could be a real vampire, and you wouldn't know it even if you were laying there listening to me with both your headphones in, with my picture in a YouTube thumbnail, before bed, or while you're in a Zoom meeting when you should be listening to your school professors. But I can see why you would think vampires don't exist. You probably only like us, uh, them, because of Vampire Night, Diabolic Lovers, Helsing, The Vampire Diaries, etc. and so forth, right? And I know what you're thinking. And yes, I have been told I sound like Kaname, Ayato Takamaki, and Sephiroth. I like to think my voice adds to the performance. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Do you believe me now? Or are you just passing this off as me generalizing human, uh, people like you? Do you have another question for me? Am I rivals with other magicians? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would I waste my time starting conflicts with people I'll end up outliving? Because I eat healthy and exercise a lot. We talk a lot through this app called Discord. I believe it's quite popular amongst you and the rest of your friends who listen to Pandastic ASMR's audios, right? It's a shame that your friends couldn't make it out to Vegas with you. Your group chat must be quite awkward and quiet because you're the only one who went. 
<laughs> because I know you would have a panic attack using the phone to call hotel management to tell them room service screwed up your order. That's how I know. Plus, I can see it in your eyes. You look distracted. I mean, <laughs> the other explanation is you're nervous about how Panda is going to write your fate if he turns this into an audio. But of course, vampires aren't real, right? <laughs> Mmm, the fear coursing through your body, it's driving me insane. I must taste it for myself. Shh, just stare into my eyes. Stare deep into my eyes. You can no longer feel your legs. You can no longer feel your arms. You no longer have control over your body. You're under my spell now. You belong to me. Do you belong to me? So damn good. <clears throat> I'll let you in on a little secret. This is the one and only time I'll explain this to you. Because why bother explaining it again if you're just going to rewind to the point in the audio where you'll hear it again? You gave me all the information I needed without you having no idea you did so. When you use the unsecure hotel Wi-Fi... That's when my team and I took our chance. You should have used ExpressVPN, the only way to securely browse public Wi-Fi without risking your private data being stolen by hackers on the same network, like this guy. Because you didn't, when you scanned your phone, my systems were able to sneak in and look at all your details. All your late night Amazon purchases, all those late night DMs on Discord, everything. You could have changed your IP address to make it seem like you lived in Japan or even just a few cities over. You could have been safer on the internet before coming to my show. However, you chose to be careless. There's plenty of other benefits that would take too long to get into, but depending if you manage to leave in one piece, by clicking Panda's personal link in the description of this audio, expressvpn.com slash pandasicasmr, they'll give you three months free only for his fans. Oh damn, did Pandastic just slip in an ExpressVPN sponsorship? Well that can't be, I'm not Pandastic ASMR. I'm the great Vladonio. And let's say I am. Wow, I'm impressed that you haven't clicked off the video yet. I mean, right, how could you? <laughs> You're in Vegas sitting in front of me in my hotel suite. Or are you listening to an audio that makes you feel like you're in Vegas? Maybe you're only imagining you're safe in your room with your body pillows. Genshin Impact paused. Or your professor's talking in the background. Or maybe you're imagining being in my Vegas hotel suite and your imagination is just running out of control. It's hard to say, huh? Oh, silly human. Don't hurt yourself now thinking too hard. That's my job. Speaking of which... <sighs> oh, 
Just go to sleep. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. After all, vampires don't exist, right? And I am just a voice in an audio on Pandasic ASMR's channel. There's no way this all happened for real. I just happen to sound a lot like him. Magic is just an illusion. You'll wake up safe and sound in the safety of your room and realize this was all just a mind-melting audio. 